Hello, welcome to this video. It's Leonard here from DetailLearner.com and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on one of the best trading strategies that I use in my PrimeBot trading settings. So what I'm going to walk you through is the trading settings for the PrimeBot account and how you can actually be using this kind of um, settings to actually make profit daily from the PrimeBot account. And in order to guide us, I actually have uh, for those of you who are in the whatsapp group i do send us signals on a daily basis on the signal and the signal looks something like this so let's say it is dot and fill coin that you have sent out to trade these are the settings that i'm going to use this setting to guide you so that whenever you have a signal like this on the group you should be able to set it up on your own so if you don't have an account with prime board already prime board is actually a crypto trading bot that you can link up with your binance account or your Wobi account and start trading with so if you don't have an account already, link will be in the video description to sign up an account and download the bot and start trading with it. So the next thing we want to do is log into our account. If you have an account already, it is assuming you've activated your account and you've binded it with your exchange. So once you log into your account, you want to come in here to where it says um, order. So this is where we want to go ahead and click. Click on order to start trading. And this account is already trading as you can see i've linked up this account already and right now this is the balance i have on my exchange here so that is the balance i have and this is what we are going to be using to set up this tree so there are some trades that are already go ongoing for instance if i open up this um, particular tree this particular signal here that says dot let's say we want to trade the door the dot this is we have dot and fill these are two tokens actually when where you see um dot here is it a different token and this is a different token so when you see them this way it means you treat them differently so let's go ahead and search for dot so come in here once you're on the other page just scroll down if you these are all the tokens that you can actually trade with this exchange all of these tokens are the tokens so if you don't find it just go ahead and use the search icon at the top here this search icon go ahead and click on it and then you can now type in the coin you want to search for let's say dot i'll go ahead and type in that sorry that is dot so once i type in that it will automatically pull up that token for you so you can see here dot usdt is already um on trade the trade is already ongoing so i don't really need to trade this particular token because it is already ongoing so to show you how this actually work i'm going to use btc usdt but i will use the same settings that i've sent out in this trade because it all the signals carry almost the same um, settings so i'll go ahead and click on btc usdt let me search for btc usdt this one here so you go ahead and click on it once you click on any of the tokens you want to trade this is the interface you get first and foremost you want to go once you click on it let me bring this up you want to go here to where it says setting this is a setting icon so i'll go ahead and click on the setting icon there and once i click on the setting icon this opens up now the purchase price that you see on the signal here means your first purchase um price which you see 20 usdt here it says 20 which means 20 usdt so if i come in here the first purchase price would all determine the amount you have on your account I'm trading from two thousand dollars and above so i go ahead instead of putting 20 i can go ahead and put 500 here or put 100 or put 200 so i just got to say the purchase amount will be 200. what this simply means is that for the other settings i'm going to do if i say take profit when this goes to one percent it means i want to take profit of uh, a one percent profit of a hundred usdt so the more amount you put in here if it is a thousand usdt i put in here it means i want to take profit for 1% of a thousand USDT. So whatever 1% of a thousand USDT is, that will be the profit I'll be making from this trade. So once I put in this, the next thing I want to do is to come in here and check again. And it's a double position and this it should be circle mode. So when I come in here to single, I'll go ahead and select double, uh, circle. Circle means that it should keep trading. When after this first purchase at price, it will keep trading for you. But if you say single, once it purchases this for the first time, it just go ahead and stop automatically. So you go ahead and select the option that best suits you. And then the uh, custom setting says five times. So the five times will have three C's and nine to 15%. So we'll go ahead instead of the seven times, which is by default, we'll go ahead and select five times. 
and that five times here the take profit ratio should be profit ratio here is one percent and then the take profit call back is 0.1 percent so the take profit ratio here should be one percent that is what the signal says and then the earning call back earning call back is actually the take profit call back if you see this as take profit take profit call back it means it is the earning call back so the earning call back here will be 0.1 so go ahead and change that and then leave this call back for margin call as default which is 0.3 and if you want to know anything about these particular settings here just click on this question mark here attached to any of these so once you click on it it tells you what that particular um, uh, function is or what it does for you and you can go ahead and read so any of this i click you see the description and the recommended settings for that so you just go ahead and learn more about that and then the next thing is the advanced setting now on the advanced setting this is the, this what determines the settings you have here is the time the order the quant other quantity here here we have seven times if i change it to seven you'll see that we'll have first call second cover third cover up to seven cover then if i come in here to change it to five times we'll now have from first cover to fifth cover now our, on our signal here we'll say the first cover should be three percent second cover will be six percent and then the fifth cover will be 15 percent so let me go ahead and explain what this simply means uh let me put in the numbers if i explain that so i'll go ahead and put three percent the second one is six so put in six percent the third one is nine put in nine percent the fourth cover will be twelve percent so put in twelve and then the last cover which is the fifth cover will be fifteen so go ahead and put in fifteen percent here now what this simply means is that what we are saying and then hope hope here we say double position so we'll go ahead and open and check this this is the double position so we'll go ahead and check this make sure that this is turned on we'll go ahead and check that and that is turned on so what we are simply saying here is let me go ahead and take that again that has scattered everything so this will be three percent this six percent um six sorry first cover is three percent second cover is six uh, percent third cover is nine percent nine percent then fourth cover is actually twelve percent and then the fifth cover will be fifteen percent all right so with this said we are with these settings done so what we are with the double position checked what we are simply saying here is whenever this token that we want to trade drop by three percent we want this bot to buy two times and then when it drops by six percent further which it will this is the crypto market so it can drop to whatever percentage we want it to buy four times and when it keep dropping further to let's say nine percent we want this bot to buy eight times for us that is you what you are simply doing here is buying the deep as you are buying the dip using what is called dollar cost averaging so when you buy the dip whenever this board finally sells at one percent whatsoever calculation you are making here let's say you bought two times a hundred dollars by two will be two hundred you bought four times here this is about four hundred four hundred plus two that will be six hundred and then you bought eight times here this is eight hundred for you and then eight hundred by um, six hundred whatever it is that is what you have and then you bought sixteen times and it continues to go on that when it drops by 12 percent you want it to buy 16 times and then when it drops by um 15 percent you want it to buy 32 times it means that you need to have three thousand two hundred dollars here to be able to buy the deep when this crypto market drops by 15 percent and then when it finally increases by one percent and it sells for you you are making profit or one percent of all of the profit of the deeps that you bought here so basically that is what this simply means and this can only be applied when you are using circle mode it can only be applied when you are using circle mode if it is single once it sells this one automatically the trade will stop for you but when you are using circle mode it will go ahead and keep buying and selling and buying and holding for you and then when the price increases it sells automatically for you so once you are done with that you go ahead and click on update and once you click on update it will tell you update successful so go ahead and confirm that 
and you go ahead and start up the trade so just go ahead this is where it says start up so you go ahead and click on start up the trade you go ahead and start it up and automatically that trade is created successfully so i'll go ahead and confirm now let me explain what has happened here the hold amount is actually the amount you bought with this is the hold amount the amount you bought with and you bought at this price this is the price that you bought at the average price there is what you bought this coin at so now on the hold volume the 100 usdt that we bought the volume in btc is this this is the volume for that let me use the arrow so that that will be clear enough arrow so this is what that is what and then the current price right now is this then what i want you to note is that this can only sell in profit when it goes to this price if it doesn't get to this price it will continue to hold it until it gets to this price the liquidation price here is when you'll be making profit of one percent so for it to increase up to one percent it means that the price of bitcoin needs to move from the current price of 61,864 to 62,654. So if it doesn't get there, you will not be able to make profit from this. But if for any reason this gets to this price, and um, or let's say 5%, it gets to 5% increase and you're not seeing anything, just go ahead and click on full liquidation here. Just click on full liquidation here and you'll take profit and you'll make 5% profit of 100 USDT or whatever purchase amount that you put in here. So the trade is currently going and we are only going to make profit when the price of BTC gets to 62,654 USDT. That is when we are going to make profit and that is why whenever you start up a trade, you will always see that um, it is showing minus because the price needs to be above what you put in the current price for you to be able to make profit from it so as you can see here this is the btc trade we carried out is showing minus 0 0.3 and if you keep dropping if it is circle mode if you keep dropping then we'll keep buying the dip and so on so right now we'll wait for it to get to the liquidation price as you can see here on the screen the liquidation price is this this is the liquidation price so if it doesn't get to this price we are not going to make profit that is one thing i love about the prime board it tells you that this is when exactly you'll be making profit so that if you don't get to that price you check this price and then you check the current price in the market if it doesn't get to that price then you will not be making profit so this is all you need to know about the trading settings whenever you get this signal this is how you apply them and this is what you will go ahead and do for your for your account so the settings all depends whether you want to trade with 100 usdt whether it is 20 whether it is 50 whatever amount of money you have on your account is what you'll be trading with so that is all I have for you in this video. If you have questions, then use the comment section and I will definitely attend to your questions one after the other. I hope this video was helpful. If it is, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with others. So that is it for this video and I will see you next in the next video.